Hi, Hi sisters. sisters! James Charles is one of the biggest internet sensations in the beauty space these days. Despite some controversies, he's always been able to bounce back and keep his loyal fan base or sister squad. Although James isn't even old enough to drink, he's already amassed multi millions of subscribers on YouTube and a multi million dollar fortune to go with it. Not to mention, this allowed him to buy a new mansion in Los Angeles worth millions. In this video, we'll be giving you all the details of where James calls home and more. James Charles is a beauty YouTuber, makeup artist, and influencer. At the time of this recording, he's only 20 years old and he moved into his first mega mansion when he was still just a teen. His YouTube channel is mostly responsible for his fame and all of his fans we know as sisters. He launched his channel back in 2015 and it focuses on makeup, but he also does other types of videos like vlogs and more. These days, James has over 17 million subscribers. Despite the fact that last year he was the first to lose 1 million subs or more in a 24 hour period. Clearly he bounced back. James has crossed plenty off his bucket list since making it big, including releasing makeup with the brand Morphe Cosmetics as a collab, becoming the first male spokesmodel for CoverGirl, and walking the runway during LA's Fashion Week. As of 2020, his estimated net worth is roughly $12 million. With that kind of money, James was able to move away from his hometown in New York and out to a mansion near Hollywood. He's been living in a fancy house in Encino since 2018, but as of last month, the beauty guru apparently put down $7 million for a new place LA. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to look at where James Charles calls home including his new LA mansion he bought, his Encino spot and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Jeffree Star and the Nelk Boys and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Before I show you the new LA mansion we just found out James put down millions for, we'll look at the house he's been living in up until now. James has shown off his house on his channel both before he furnished it and of course after he decorated to suit his taste. In 2018, James moved into a gorgeous home located in Encino, California, which is a neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley region of Los Angeles. Although it's not in Hollywood, it's close enough and considered an upscale and urban area. Despite fans thinking James purchased the home, it was reported that he actually was renting it for a shocking 17 k per month. If he were to buy it, the Encino mansion is valued at about $2.3 million. Still, at the time he moved in, he was only 19 years old, so it's a huge accomplishment. The house has 4,255 square feet of living space inside, as well as 5 beds and 6.5 baths. The listing described it as a Nantucket Cape Cod masterpiece. The home was already nice, and being built in 2016, it was basically new. However, James wanted to redecorate the whole thing, and he did. I guess even though he was only renting, he got the go-ahead. I suppose it could be a selling point for the future residents anyways. James Encino Mansion has an open floor plan and a ton of natural light. Definitely a really bright house. There are 10 foot high ceilings, a grand living room with a fireplace and baby grand piano, a formal dining room, a chef's kitchen, and additional living spaces. A big open kind of like formal foyer which I really really love um, you can basically open the front door and see all the way out to the backyard which is like probably my favorite part of the entire house there's also a mudroom where you can take off your jacket and shoes which James seems pretty excited about in his video a wine room LED lighting and an office which his manager assistant and editor use we tried to make the office look as cute as we could for the sake of this video but it's probably gonna be changing a lot within the next few weeks along these two walls we just have a cute little L-shaped desk to sit and get work done I custom made this out of different Ikea pieces. Of course, we have the iconic Alex drawers that literally every single beauty guru and their mother has in their house. Of course, James also showed off his sister's neon sign. When we saw James's other living room, I think my favorite thing was definitely that giant white couch. It looks so comfy. This is literally the most comfortable couch in the entire world, and I've gotten so many questions asking what this couch is, and it is actually not the cloud couch, which is like the couch that every single person ever buys. Moving upstairs, you'll find the bedrooms, including the impressive master suite. James' master bedroom had a fireplace, two walk-in closets, ensuite bathroom, and a balcony. Not to mention, James has an elaborate area designated for filming his videos. Of course, when you post as many vids as he does, a good setup is necessary, especially when a lot of them are makeup tutorials. I'm gonna guess the lighting needs to be just perfect. In the middle of this room, we have this brand new white dining table, actually, which is my new filming desk. 
As you guys remember in my old one, I had a tidy little Ikea desk, which was so inconvenient to film in front of. You have no idea. Other features of James' previous house in Encino includes the full security system with cameras to ensure privacy, as well as a gorgeous pool, spa, and barbecue out in the backyard. James stayed in this mansion for quite some time, but in recent news, he apparently invested in a new property. Although James has yet to share photos or a vlog on his channel about it, records show that he started off the decade purchasing a new home in February. While we wait for his unveiling, we know most of the home details anyways. Apparently, James was through with renting and put down $7 million on this mansion that's slightly larger than the last place he was living. This home is located in Encino as well, so he didn't have to move too far. For decades, this property had a modest mid-century house on it, but two years ago, a local developer bought the land for just over $2 million and had the old house demolished. That house was replaced by James's new mansion, and since it's brand new and was never publicly listed, there aren't many pics of the place inside. Now the home is a modern farmhouse style build spread over three floors, including a basement level. The two-tone paint job of charcoal and cream look like they'd be suited to James' taste from looking at his last house. His new mansion spans 9,800 square feet of living space with six beds and 10 baths. Four of the bedrooms are upstairs, one is in the basement, and the other is on the main floor which doubles as a maid's quarters, but all of them have en suites. We saw James's over-the-top master suite in his old house, and his new one is just as nice or better. The master bedroom here comes with two walk-in closets as well as a private balcony. The home has a double-height foyer, wine cellar, and the downstairs living room has a fireplace as well as large windows giving off a ton of natural light. Towards the back of the mansion, there's the large open kitchen with fancy appliances and additional bar-style seating. There's also a formal dining room, a family room that opens right up to the backyard, a three-car garage, and a large driveway for guests to park. Some more features of James' new mansion include a games room, a lounge, home movie theater, mirror wall gym, and even an indoor spa and sauna. Outside, the house sits on a half-acre lot on a quiet tree-lined street. The property is fully walled and gated with additional tall hedges and trees for ultimate privacy. In case that's not enough, James also has a high-tech surveillance system with cameras and alarms providing additional security. In his yard, there's an infinity-edge swimming pool and spa, a pool house with a bathroom and changing facilities, and even a half-basketball or sports court. If James decides to throw a party, the indoor-outdoor sound system is controlled by his smartphone, so it makes it easy to pick the music. So before James bought this lavish mansion, and even before he lived in the Encino house prior, he was living in a loft apartment. He also gave a tour of this place on his channel, so when you compare the homes, you can really see how far he's come. His loft was in downtown Los Angeles, and I'm sure the rent was expensive. He mentioned in the video that it was a corner unit, and you can see all of the exposed brick on the walls. It may have just been an apartment, but it looked massive. One thing I like is that James still shops at Ikea, which is pretty humble, but honestly, I love that place. And James still had a giant walk-in closet back then in his apartment days, so I guess having two walk-ins like he does now was his way of upgrading. Looking at his loft, his previous house, and now this new mansion he actually purchased in LA, the homes keep getting bigger and better. We'll have to wait for James to post a tour of the new place for his sister squad before we can see the rest, but what do you guys think so far? Okay guys, now I'll be reading out some comments from previous vids. On our Paris Hilton house tour, Terry Bruce wrote, I like Paris's main house best. The dog mansion looks like a blast. Paris can be a great hero to women because while she could have taken the easy road in life, she chose to learn business and technology and spin up several extremely successful businesses. She inherited a great brain to go with her exquisite looks. She's self-sufficient and lives life by doing it her way. Thanks, Terry. I know some disagree that she had things handed to her. I honestly think she's really smart businesswoman and she's done a lot. I got some shade for being a Paris lover, but I regret nothing. She's apparently super kind too from what I hear. On our JLo house tour, Larry T said, Love your videos. Thanks, Larry. And finally, on our Harry Styles house tour, MK said, Harry Styles is a gentleman and has a beautiful heart. He has worked hard and deserves everything he has. All right, guys, that's all I could find on where James Charles calls home. Do you think he'll be doing a video on his new sister sanctuary he just bought? What did you think about the Encino mansion he's been renting out? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!